Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. And I'm John. And today we have another exciting munch pack. So, munch pack is a subscription box. We get it every month and we get the smaller box which is about fifteen dollars uh, every month which includes shipping the medium sized box and the large box are obviously more than that but also more snacks and this is the yeah. perfect amount of snacks what we like about munch pack is i think we get like five treats yep. five snacks in there and they're usually from five different places sometimes a couple of them are doubled up but we never know where we're going to get snacks from or what they're going to be. So let's see what we got. All right. Da -da. I All see right. things I'm going to like, I'm pretty sure. Everything's out of the box. I am very sure. All right, so we have stuff from the United Kingdom. We do. Japan, Turkey, Spain, and Poland. Yeah. Huh. Tell me again. We have representatives from the United Kingdom. That's Piper's. Yes. Right? Okay. We have a representative from Japan. That's this. Yes. I'm sure. We also have... I'm guessing, by the way. We also have a snack from Turkey. Turkey, huh? Now! Let me use, let me call upon the GeoGuessr gods and like, <laughs> let me think, where have I seen these languages before? Yeah. Um, we have Turkey, who else? We have Turkey, we have Spain, we have Poland. Oh. Mm. I'm gonna go, I really don't know. I'm going Spain. That's Poland. Okay, then I'm going <laughs> Spain. That's correct, <laughs> that is Spain. And so that's Turkey, right? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we always like to eat savory to sweet. Speaking yep. of Turkey, let's start. Let's Sounds start there. good. We've had these kind of things before in other international boxes and they were fabulous. Can you hand me the box, please? Absolutely. Thanks. So, there are some words here that I have no idea what they mean, but Itai Cracks Salt Sticks Cash Caval. No idea, but those are supposed to be crunchy sticks with Cash Caval cheese. Oh! A yellow table cheese usually served on cheese platters or used in salads, appetizers, pizzas, and lasagna. Holy bleep. <laughs> yeah? The smell Ooh. is a very strong. It is a very strong cheese. We love these little breadsticks. On guard. Cheers. Kind of like Pocky, if you're familiar with Pocky, right? Yeah. That was a very like pungent, fragrant cheese. Yes, but it doesn't taste like that. Right. In the cracker. That's nice. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not like super flavorful. Right. Mostly breadstick, little bit of flavor, but it's nice. It's nice. It's a good cracker. Good texture. Huh? Crisp. Mm-hmm. Not broken. Yep. Piper's crisps. Cheddar. Cheddar, Cheddar and, and onion. onion. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Now the one that they have pictured in the book is wild thyme and rosemary. Uh, we might have tried that one at some I point. I feel like we have. But this is, what is it, cheddar and... Onion. Onion, yeah. Yeah. Crunchy, crisp, and full of flavor. These crisps or chips are a classic from the UK. Seasoned to the brim, almost like climbing up a mountain and putting freshly picked ground herbs on them yourself. Well, that's... Thanks. ...how those are. The fresh herbs. I don't yes. know about these so much. Indeed. Cheers. You pick the fresh cheese. Whoa! Hello, Onion. Hello, cheese. Hello. <laughs> Hi. I'll be saying hello for this quite is, some time. <laughs> this is the kind of 
thing that you and your spouse both have to eat. <laughs> Indeed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Laura's like, whoa, what did you eat? Yeah. Like, just some of these chips. Or sometimes I know what he's eating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. That's amazing. Mm hmm. Those are good. Those are good. Super out. cheesy, super flavorful, mm -hmm. light, airy, crisp. Bang him. As far mm -hmm. as the, the crisps, I pick those over the turkey ones. Here's what I'll tell you. You know, we have a fondness for the UK, and we do. I would tell you the truth. If I really like the ones mm -hmm. from Turkey Better, sure. I would say it. I really do enjoy these better but it's not just because they're from the uk i think some right. people think we have a little prejudice there we we like most things from the uk but um but we would tell you if we didn't right okay next okay shall we try the treat from japan or do you want to go like fruity fruity okay well i don't know what that is i can't that's a chocolatey type thing. yeah fruity oh and i read something on this label that says Creamy center. And it's like a fruit roll. Oh, yeah. I saw that. Where is this from? That is from Spain. Spain. Delicious fruit flavors like cherry, orange, and green apple. This sweet and colorful gummy belt is filled with sweet cream and ready to be unrolled and enjoyed. What do you mean by filled with? In the tubes. In the look. You see the end? Oh. Look at the end of it. Like this. Where's the picture? See on the picture? Uh, it's on the inside. Hold on. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> this is, I love these kind of treats. Ready? No. <laughs> Forget it now. Hmm. You know what I like about this? Sometimes when you get a treat like this, the little sugary stuff mm -hmm. is mixed with ascorbic acid and it's super sour. Yeah. Like Sour Patch Kids. There's a little hint, a little something of sour, but it's mostly sweet. I like it. I like it. Nice shot of sugar. <laughs> also in the fruity type thing, is this from Poland? Waffle Zozole Chupro. I don't know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Some sort of orange. Layers of crisp wafers partially coated in Oh, it is chocolate as well. Chocolate, chocolate and, and orange. orange. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was more like a uh, like a chew. Oh. No, you can Yeah. When you started talking, I was like, "What?" That's not what it felt like. Yeah, layers of crisp wafers partially coated in milk chocolate, sandwiching smooth orange cream and filled with popping candy bits. <gasps> I got so excited I almost dropped it on the floor. <laughs> popping candy bits, hurry up! <laughs> hurry up! Oh boy. I see it is orange. Orange cream on the yeah. middle. What you looking for? Something to hold crumbs. That is not my lap. Oh yeah. This is going to be good, I can tell. There's a, Are you going to eat the whole thing? All yeah. Right. <laughs> There's a lot, though. Orange, chocolate, chocolate wafer, popping candy. candy, cream. That's, that's a I've lot. I've never had wafer and popping candy. Me neither. Let's try it. Get any popping candy. Where are you? I am not getting popping candy. I like the flavor. Mm hmm. Man, I feel disappointed. I'm not getting any popping candy. Me neither. Oh, I got one. You did? Mm hmm. One little. Mmm. <laughs> 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 yeah. They must have run out of popping candy. It's, I got one and then another one. I got nothing. Wow, I wonder if because we're eating from the end, maybe it's more concentrated in the middle. That, that's nice. 
But if you tease me with popping candy, I want you to come on about it. You like, better bring it. Mm -hmm. Better bring it. I like the flavor. It's not super sickening sweet. Yeah. Right? Right. Okay, last. Last. This is from Japan. It is called Black Thunder Sunday Bar. Really? This bar is meant to imitate soft serve ice cream flavor and comes partially coated with chocolate, crispy bits of cookie, and puffed corn flakes. What? Yep. That's what I said. Puffed corn flakes? That's what it says. Puffed corn flakes. That could usually, be a flake and a puff. Usually if if we see puffed, it's like puffed rice, right? Like Rice Krispies, but puffed corn. Well, I mean, we get puffed corn and we get puffed uh, wheat, but I guess. usually you don't have a flake. It's either a flake or a puff, uh, yeah. isn't it? I don't know. I'm going to be I think so. Sunday bar, though. All right. Go for it. I hope it tastes like soft serve ice cream. Not quite the texture of soft serve ice cream. Not any ice cream I want. Mmm. I get it. You do? I mean, I get why that's a thing. Mm, okay. I don't sit around thinking soft serve ice cream. Yeah. What is soft serve ice cream? <laughs> well, I, I just don't know. Very creamy once everything like starts getting together. I like the, the puffed bits in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, the chocolate is really nice. The texture is um, good. I like the flavor is good. I'm just not getting what they're selling as far as like soft serve ice cream. Same with both of these. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they're yeah. both kind of the same. Like I liked them both. Yeah. But don't, whatever you said in the beginning about this one, about Black Thunder, Chocolate Thunder, whatever, yeah. I was like really <laughs> expecting something. <laughs> chocolate Thunder. I do, ex I do think it reminds me of ice cream, kind of. Like an Oreo sundae kind of a thing. Kind of. But I don't know why Why soft serve. I don't get it. I don't know. There is like a cookies and cream vibe going on there. I was really hopeful with that because the way they described it, I thought like something, the magic of Japan was going to come through on this. You know, they, they do some crazy things with some of their food and, you know, make it look like something that tastes like something else. And I thought, man, this is really going to taste like soft serve ice cream. Eh. I can tell you what, um, if you want to spend the evening with us, um, a weekend evening, <laughs> John's like, where are you going? <laughs> um, very often we fall down the rabbit hole of YouTube and every once in a while we do different, um, like themes. Sometimes we do POV. You gotta be careful. <laughs> POV, like what did we watch the other night? Driving through traffic in India. Yeah. yeah or yeah. we've done running with the bulls, POV. Yeah, yeah. Or a gondola ride. Yeah. Um, it, we, we've done a lot of that sort of thing. And the other thing we've done is fallen down the rabbit hole of watching people go stay in Japan in like capsule hotels yeah, right. and eating out of the vending machine machines in Japan holy moly they have something completely different going on in japan than sure. anywhere else in the world <laughs> and i just want to like have all my little quarters and dollars and just like try it all like they have full on you know four course dinners and stuff that you can get straight out of a vending machine oh yeah when i was in japan you could get a gallon of beer out of a vending machine yeah, that's Like, you crazy. didn't even check your ID or nothing. You just go, oh, put your money in, and you can grab a beer out of the vending that's machine. That's so crazy to me. Um, I like the idea of capsule hotels. I understand capsule hotels. Um, that makes all of my spidey senses mm -hmm. tingle a little bit. I, that makes me very nervous. <laughs> I don't think I could do it. I'm super claustrophobic. But it's so cool to watch. That's one of the things that we love about YouTube is you can experience things without really experiencing things. Right, you know? right. I wouldn't mind a capsule hotel that we could stay together. Like it was a capsule for two, basically. Yeah. But like the ones that we've seen on YouTube, like 
it, they're separated, male and female. Yeah, so. that would make me very nervous. Yeah. To be in a foreign country and be away from you. you yeah, know? and like their facilities and everything were all like just, you know, there there weren't any, it wasn't any privacy basically. Yeah, you know? we've watched a couple different channels do that kind of thing. Kara and Nate are mm -hmm. there right now. Yeah. We've talked about them before, and what was funny is they went into like a spa area. I don't know how we. Transition. But anyway, <laughs> they went to a spa area, and of course they don't speak the language, they don't yeah. they can't read what the sign says or whatever, and they're like, Are we supposed to be naked? Are we supposed yeah. to be in our robe? And then there, there was like a uh I've seen these like bathtubs before that look basically look like a giant like kind of bucket type thing mm -hmm. that a person can like squat in yeah. basically. And she was like, is that, am I supposed to get naked and get in that? Or are we wearing yeah. suits? Or what, yeah. what are we doing here? Yeah, and there was a lot of confusion about when to wear what shoes and yeah, all that. That's anyway, right. so this, this is the kind of thing we do on YouTube is explore. And so, it, you know, and travel, quote unquote travel, we have watched. We've ridden roller coasters on YouTube and, you know, uh, we are starting. Yeah, parkour over these crazy like glass yeah. domes and... yeah yeah what besides us of course what do you <laughs> like to watch on yeah. youtube i would say we watch a lot of cooking mm -hmm. um we Travel, watch games yeah yeah but but also we have a couple of like family channels like the Ballingers, for example. Mm -hmm. We watch them. We don't watch all family channels. It's just like we find people and we glom onto them and then we want to know everything that we're doing. We hope that you feel that way about us or maybe you will. So anyway, that's our shameless plug <laughs> to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Yes. We'd love to have you join us along with our other channels. We'll put a link to all of our channels down in a pinned comment on this video. Make sure you come check us out on Instagram too. We love to share new, unique restaurant um, restaurants that open or like themes or um, new products that are coming out. That's all on Instagram. Check out our stories over there. Now, if you love, uh-oh, test time. Oh, wait, before we get to that, what was your favorite thing in the box? Favorite um, couple of things? I would say the Pipers crisps and then the roll up twist same and those same are, those are my two favorites i think i could love this if it was chock full of popping candy because i love mm. popping candy so much yeah like uh, in things like you know remember when they sent me from the uk that chocolate with the popping candy oh and yeah it, like, changed my life forever yeah, yeah, yeah. like if it was like that full of popping like candy. creations or something like yeah. that yeah yeah i really like that but those are my two favorites as well um now if you love traveling through food like we do or munch pack or poland japan spain the uk or turkey yeah good job or us or the video give this video a big thumbs up it really helps our channel when you do that that's all we have for today that's it guys see you next time bye